good afternoon, good evening, in fact. Welcome to my daily Facebook Live. My name is Barry Selby, and this is number 171 in the ongoing series of talks about relationships, about feminine strength, about masculine and feminine polarity, all these things. So let me get started with my introduction as usual. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which inspires today's topic, which is, um, yeah, well, we'll talk about it in a second. This is my daily Facebook Live, which is number 171 in an ongoing series of messages from the masculine to inspire the feminine heart. That's the full title. And you'll find these on my website, on YouTube, and on my business page on Facebook. I'll get to those at the end. And today's topic is um, a suggestion, an invitation to the ladies out there. If you're watching this, I hope you are. Um, I'm calling this one basically um, soften, trust, embrace, because there are three aspects of using the, there are these are three aspects of being more feminine, and they may not be what you think. <laughs> so you've got to watch and find out. So let's just jump jump right in, shall we? So the first one, which is soften, is it's a whole other topic on its own. I've talked about this for the, I've actually done four or five broadcasts in a row about the feminine authority, ladies owning your power in the world. And these three things I'm going to talk about today speak to that in different ways. So soften, first one. Soften means, um, I should say, what I mean by soften is, put it in context, you ladies who are in the business world, female entrepreneurs, have had to toughen your skin in a way, to compete in the business world because the business world is designed for men. And ladies, you have to basically put on your um, bulletproof vest almost to survive and thrive in the business world. And it's getting, getting in the way of your ability to soften. It's getting in the way of you being able to feel and trust deeper, which I'm going to get to next. So soften means to let go of that shell of armor that you've been wearing that makes you feel constricted and contained like, you, like a man would be. Because that's how we basically dress up for the business world. We put on our armor and go to work and compete and battle the battle and, and that sort of thing. You don't need to do it that way. So soften the first one. To let go of the armor plate, the, the, the shielding that is protecting you for the wrong reasons. Because, number two, trust. And I'm fl this is totally um, free-balling this one. I'm just I'm free-flying this one. I, I don't have a script, which is what's coming through. So soften first, trust is second. Trust is to trust the strength you have, to trust the power you have inside, because the reality of your gifts, ladies, is it comes from inside. Your gifts aren't out there. Your gifts are inside, which I'll get to in a moment. So I'm jumping ahead. So soften first, and trust second. And trusting is to have you remember that your gifts, your power, your talents, your mastery, it comes from within. And when you trust it, it thrives. There's a teaching I had a long time ago, which I know you ladies understand, and, you, and I, we, men will too, is any skill you practice becomes solid, becomes enhanced, and becomes trustable. If you practice listening to your intuition, if you listen to your intuition and act upon it, you'll begin to trust it more, and it will become more prevalent and more consistent and more reliable in your life. So trust is second. By trusting your intuition, trusting your inner gifts, trusting your power, you'll find it becomes more, more um, fueled and powerful within you. I have to rephrase that one slightly. Now number three, embrace. And this is one of the hardest ones for women I know to deal with. Ladies, you have immense power that you've not been given permission to use or trusted yourself or felt safe with. The power you have is immense. The power of life is feminine, as in your power is life. Embrace it. It's that simple. You have incredible power, incredible gifts, incredible talents in the world, and when you don't embrace them, they go well, they atrophy. They go to waste. And truth is, that's when things happen where you don't get to live your truth and you get taken advantage of. In business, in relationship, in personal life. Yes, even there. Embracing your power will bring you into the world in a much more effective way and, truth be told, necessary way for the, for the life of the planet. This planet is, if you hadn't noticed, 
in pretty simple terms, is going to hell in a handbasket. It may take 100 years, but it's going down the tubes. Or at least the civilization part of it will, because the Earth will renew. But the global issues we have with climate change and wars and famine and everything else is man-made. And I mean man-made. Not woman-made, man-made. Your power, ladies, is to turn things around for us. With us, excuse me, not for us, with us. I can be clear about that. We aren't going to put our feet up and go, yeah, we screwed up, now you can fix it. That's not the way we're supposed to do it. And men, if you're doing that attitude like at home, put your feet up and say, honey, you take care of it? No, that's not how we're playing. But long term, and I guess I didn't realize I was going to talk about world change here, but I'm on the part that's on that what came through, so I'm talking about it. The power, the true power of the feminine is powerful enough to change the course of life on this planet. I mean, come on. You ladies basically created the human race because if it was a woman, we wouldn't be born. So let's get real about it. So the truth is also that in the world nowadays, the feminine power to lead, to guide, to cooperate, collaborate, and facilitate the change we need needs to be embraced. And you ladies have it. So embrace your own power, ladies. Please, I'm beseeching you. <laughs> I'm inviting you. I'm encouraging you to own your feminine power in the world. Your feminine gifts, your feminine authority. I call it feminine authority more than anything else because it's a level of leadership and perspective that gives you a great amount of strength and power in the world. So I'm inviting you to bring it in, to bring it out into the world and to share it. So that, that's soften, trust, embrace. Hang on. <coughs> I should have brought some water with me. I didn't. So I'm just going to end it there because I'm realizing I'm going to be dry mouth any second. I appreciate you watching this. This is some food for thought for you ladies out there. If men are watching and you want to share it with your female friends, please do that too. This is one of my daily Facebook Lives. This is number 171. An ongoing series of Facebook Live Talks called Messages, Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. You can find these on my website, which is barrysilby.com, on the video blog. You can also find them on my YouTube channel and also right here on Facebook, which is where they originally broadcast on my business page. It's easy to find them on my personal page because I put out the stuff on my personal page. On my business page is pretty consistently these. Um, again, number 171, that means there's 170 before this and more coming. I don't know where they come from, they just keep coming through. If you have any questions or thoughts or comments, please put them below, I'll respond later. And if you want some help in the area of, ladies, if you want some help in the area of owning a feminine authority in the world and finding balance in love, life, and business, that's what I'm here for. You know how to find me, and I'll be here for you. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching my daily broadcast. I'll be back again tomorrow with something perhaps completely different, maybe the same, I don't know yet. But thank you for being here, as always, being a witness to my journey, my process, and my expression. It'd been a point if you weren't here. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.